Hey guys, and welcome back to Cameo Elements of Power. When we last left off, we assaulted a fortress to try and get our family back. Uh, but that ended rather poorly because we came up against a, a big troll called Thorn. And he knocked us into next week and we've lost all of our abilities. So, after a quick uh, how'd you do with the uh, mystic here, we now have to go for some training. So let's go do that. Don't know how we survived, mind you, but never mind. I guess that's not important. Look how gorgeous this game is. Well, alrighty then. Your map can be toggled on and off by clicking left stick. Areas that flash green are your next destination. Good to know. Um, we keep the map on though. It's useful. Hey bub, how's it hanging? It's you. It is me. How observant of you. You alright fella? This was my prize winning crop. But since my tools were broken, I've had no way to water the poor thing. Aww. If they don't get water soon, they'll die. Well, that's unfortunate. Have you thought about, um, oh, you know, buying some new tools? No? Okay. Well, we'll see if we... Ah, oh, look, there's just there's water. It's so close, and yet so far. All right, buddy. We'll see what we can do. I don't know what you're scratching away at, my friend. Fuck all you can do about it now. There's the mystic. Off and about on her adventure. Hey there, friendo. I'm sorry, but she's just too undisciplined to work with. Paid absolutely no attention to me when I told her she wasn't ready to attempt a rescue and nearly got killed as a result. Ah, details, details. I still believe she has potential. Let me at least test Cameo and see how she fares before you pass your final judgment. Mm. Oh, we're going to be tested. I'd wager this is a hero's test of unlike the world has ever seen. Hi right there, friend. This gate's supposed to go to the Forgotten Forest, but it's been sealed from the other side. Just as well for me. Yes, I can imagine. You look small, weak, and soft. Let's hope nothing comes through that gate. You're right there. Everyone's been really depressed since your family were kidnapped, so I've been trying to cheer everyone up. I mean... You've got to laugh. <laughs> I admire your spirit, sir. <laughs> I admire your spirit. Did I just see some squirrels running around? Don't I look heroic? Nope. Afraid not. You don't look heroic. What are you talking about? Why are those so dirty? Oh, Cameo. I was keeping watch on your Uncle Hallis. I don't know how exactly, but since he was taken, his spirit has manifested here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, there were some squirrels around here somewhere. I think one of them just flipped me off. Conker, is that you? Where's the squirrels? Yeah, I think Conker's here somewhere. Little bastard. Oh well. Alright, let's go see the mystic. Good evening. Yes, I imagine this is going to be a taxing test. I've been waiting for you. Please come closer and talk to me. Mm hmm. There we go. Let's get my drink a minute. There we go. Yeah. You're right there, buddy. You look like old Fung from, um, uh, Comic Zone. Why are all the creatures in this game so ugly? Damn. You will not survive what is to come without Ortho's assistance. Unfortunately, he feels you lack the type of control, a power as awesome as the transformation magic requires. But there still may be a way to change his mind. Mm -hmm. An ancient test of skill, handed down from one warrior trainer to the next. I see. Well, uh, are we ready to prove ourselves? Um, I mean, sure, I guess. Uh, we are a little bit weak. 
So, our mileage may vary, but what have we got to lose, huh? Then let us begin. Now, what is this ancient warrior test that you speak First, of? Let's see how observed you are. Try taking a look around. Ah, starting us off easy, I see. Okay, I shall master the ability of moving my head. What can you send to your gaze on the four torches? I think so. You can also focus your gaze. Mm-hmm. I find this interesting that we can zoom our, our eyeballs in. That's quite interesting. There we are. Not bad. You may return to move Not normal. bad. That was perfect. I'm an expert at moving my head. Hovering will get you over obstacles and small gaps. I see. Try hovering for me now. Hovering, you say? Well, considering she's not a child and she's had wings her entire life, I'm going to assume she knows how to hover. And considering we've used that a fair amount, she can probably hover. Prove to me you've got the hang of it by hovering around this hut for a few seconds. Um. That's enough. You may land again. All right, old man. You better have Never some more. Forget. Your wings are not strong enough to carry you over chasms. Uh huh. Well, old man, you better have some more uh, tricks up your sleeve, because here's something a bit more. It hasn't really felt like a test yet. Try your flip kick attack on me. Don't worry, I won't hit back. Oh, good. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I guess. Again, but this time, use the pumpkin as your target. Hmm. One kick a day is more than enough for me. One kick a day keeps the doctor away, I suppose. Boop. Excellent. Here's a little reward for you. Runes like this can be spent in any shop in the land. I see. Perfect. I'd say you deserve a little break. Move over to the elixir bottle and interact with it to drink. Sounds good. That is a large bottle, though. Uh, I don't think she could consume that much liquid. Still, let's give it a go. Oh, <laughs> it's shrunk. Foodgasm. You Must have been good. That your health bar increases with each elixir you drink. Mm. Moving on. Enough. You've made your point, old friend. Well. Mm. So you've returned from Thorn's castle with your tail between your legs. Hmm? I must admit that I was skeptical of your abilities, but anyone who can pass the trainer's tests must be worthy of holding this. The water. Oh, it was book. difficult. Long ago, it served as a vessel for the elemental warriors of legend. And along with the element of power, it's one of two artifacts needed to control them. The Whatnot will also keep a record of your journey. You can read it as we travel by pressing this button. Pressing this button will put the book away. I see. And you can flip the pages with these. Oh, that's useful. I've decided to remain inside the book for the time being. Mm. It's obvious that you won't be able to rescue your family without my advice. <laughs> You're not wrong. If you get stuck, turn the pages until the book is closed and then press this button to talk with you. Well, okay. Well, I suppose you'll get the hang of things as we go. I would have thought now, so. We'd better go and see the mystic. Put the book away and we'll get going. Yes, boss. Now, just check out how good the texturing is. That's one thing that really stuck with me. And it's still good now. The texture quality is amazing. Anyway, we can open the book and uh, we've got all these. But we can't actually select any of these yet. These are um, the creatures that we can transport into. Uh, we don't have any yet, but that will change. Um, and we have some basics here. There's a hundred of these fruit to get. If you get a certain amount of fruit, you can upgrade your characters. Uh, these are the health bottles, obviously. There's only 12 in the game. I actually thought there was more than that. Uh, each one will permanently increase our max health and stamina, I believe. Then we have scores, but nobody you know, like cares about that. We took ages to do it. Now, the scores in this game um, are really hard. Really. I, I remember when this game first came out, me and my then partner spent 
ages. I'm days and days trying to get like the best scores and stuff. It is so hard. We never did it. We got like C's and B's, but phew. Um, now options is pretty generic fluff. But bonus, this is a little bit different. Here we can actually change Cameo's skin, um, or her outfit really, but it is basically her skin because she looks quite a lot different. Uh, these were included as a free download, um, I think after this game came out, over the Christmas, because they actually held a uh, competition. And these are all, I believe, fan-made skins. Um, and these were like the competition winners. So that was quite cool. This was back when the Xbox 360 first came out. And Microsoft was saying, oh, we're going to have our own bloody storefront. And uh, we're going to have mods in games. And people can create user-made content that you can then sell on our storefront. It is all a load of bullshit. They lied through their ass because that never actually happened. But this was like the one and only example of that, I believe, that happened. And you couldn't even sell it anyway, because I believe it was all free. So anyway, we've got Designer Skin Cameo. Which is kind of strange. She's like a doll. You can see all of her joints and stuff. Which is really kind of odd. You can't really get a good look at her. Let's try and get the camera just right. There we go. It's interesting. Kind of like a Pinocchio style character design. It's cool, but... You know. Uh, then we have Winter Warrior cameo, which is... I like this. This is cool. This is uh, a little bit naughty. A little bit of something that you wouldn't mind seeing your missus in. You know. I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. Just keeping it real. Um, I actually like this quite a lot. It's cool. Uh, and then we have the armored... I... See... I like the idea of having her in a suit of armor. I think that would be really cool, but I don't like this armor that she's in. It, it, I don't like it. It doesn't look that good to me. Like, if she's in, f like, an armored suit, I want her to be in a big, bulky, full armored suit. Not one of these, um, Weibo kind of designs. I never liked female armor in games. Yeah, it looks hot, but it kind of looks shit as well, you know? Uh, so anyway, we've got the Fright Pack cameo, which I like quite a lot. This one's alright. Looks a little bit Tim Burton-esque, Nightmare Before Christmas kind of style. I like it. I like it. It's cool. And then we have Masquerade cameo 1. Now, these are all... There's 10 of these, and these are all different game characters, I think. I'm not altogether sure who they all are. I recognize them. I think that's from an N64 game. I can't think of its name. I Jet Force I Gemini. In fact, I'm sure that's from Jet Force Gemini. But again, I might be wrong. Because I never had an N64 myself. But I always had a mate that had one. Now that is very obvious who that's supposed to be. That's Orchid from Killer Instinct. And I like that. That's really quite cool. And that's her design from the second game, I believe. Progress, yeah, shut up. I'm not sure who that is supposed to be, but that's quite cool. I like it. And then we have this. Now, I recognize this, but I cannot picture who this is. I tried to look up who these characters were, but there's not a lot of information on it, to be honest. You can change. Shut up, also. And again, this looks very familiar. But I just can't quite picture it. It reminds me of Jesse from. Is it Jesse from Toy Story? I think so. This is cool. And again, it looks so familiar, but I just can't quite place who that's supposed to be. Uh, ninja. Remember, I'm always here in the whatnot to help now, I'm guessing these are all rare characters, but I can't think who that would be. Due to my lack of knowledge on N64 games. Now, we all know who this is. This is Joanna Dark from Perfect Dark. And actually, it this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. I, I like that. I approve. Um... 
I don't know who that is. Again, I can like picture the character in my head. But I just can't think who that is. And then we have the last one, which... I don't know who that is either. Maybe they're not all computer characters. I don't know, but... No, I don't know what one to go with. Winter Warrior, Armored Cameo, Fright Pack. Um, let's roll with that for now. I quite like that. Alright, old man. See you later. Probably cycle between them as we go on. Actually. Where is it? It's a shame you can't actually go back through these. Winter Warrior. Armoured. Let's go with the Fright Pack. Let's goth her up a little bit. There we go. Now we can pretend she's a metalhead. Alright, calm down, Cameo. Come on, get through the door. There we go. Mystic, I've got the whatnot. And also says it's fully repaired. Took him long enough to fix huh? it. If you want to talk about long, then take a look at your snout in the mirror. Ooh, burn. What did you say? Sorry, the pages sometimes muffle my lips. <laughs> I asked if you could wave your magic wand and find the missing elemental sprites. It's a crystal eye. And I've already used it to divine their location. They're trapped inside the Shadow Trolls. Shadow Trolls? The Shadow Trolls? Quite preposterous. Those were hunted down and sealed away by Cameo's ancestors long ago. In fact, you're the one who convinced Fina to do it. <laughs> Look at the mystic. Hold it. I heard legends of the Shadow Trolls, but why do you keep mentioning these elemental sprites? Ah, you see. When the whatnot was damaged, severely, I might add, which is why it took me so long to fix it. When it was damaged, the book could no longer hold the elemental warriors, and they reverted to their physical forms, the elemental sprites. Oh, no! The sprites resemble tiny woodland creatures, <laughs> and they're quite vulnerable without the power of the whatnot. However, if you can return them to the book, you can once again manifest into their true warrior form. Excellent. But to do that, you first have to rescue them from the shadow trolls. Now I see. I only hope you've learned enough. Time My will tell. Beat them once. I'll try and beat them again. Show me what you can of these things. Mm, nice. She's a pretty thing, isn't she? Damn. Well, that was pretty horrific. <laughs> they draw their power from the Shadow Realm and must return every so often to replenish. One of the portals to their undead lands is in the woods near here. Hmm. Enter it, and you are bound to come across a Shadow Troll. Well, okay then. Well, if we are bound to come across one, sounds like a reasonable plan. Right, where are you? Boop. Do not fear your destiny. Go to the woods, and there you will find a shadow troll. Annihilate it, and return the elemental sprite to where it belongs. The whatnot book. Well, okay. Foolish mystic. I fear nothing. Actually, I'm sure we can, like, smash these open. Uh, maybe it's later on. Maybe not this particular one. I'm sure we could. No matter. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Grab our destiny by the short and curlies. Hmm. Boop. Enchanted Kingdom. Well, I'll see you later, guys. You've got an idea. Head to the woods near the mystic's hut and look for anything unusual that might lead us to the Shadow Troll's lair. My dude, we've just spoken about that. You just want to make some noise, that's your trouble. Now where are we going? Green is supposed to be the way we go. Ah, yes. This big ominous well. Hmm. 
Oh, this looks fine. Nice to see we had the uh, time to have a bit of a costume change. Ooh. Now, unfortunately, we have no powers. Oh. We get Pummelweed back first, do we? Alright. Shadow trolls are formidable enemies. Physical attacks won't be able to harm it. What we need is some light energy. Light energy, you say? Well, what's this stuff here? Oh, uh, I guess we can't actually do anything with that. How do we get light energy? Ooh. Hello. Look there. If you defeat that lost soul, you can absorb its energy oh. and use it against the Well, that's convenient. Oh, God. Get your filthy, perverted hands off me. You wretch. You can blast it oh. the shadow troll, so aim carefully. Oh, okay. That was it. Well, that was anticlimactic. Suck it down, you little bastard. Right, come to mummy. Come here, my friend. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Although, not really. Hmm, get in my belly. Oh, he's growing up. <laughs> he's like terrified. Oh, that looks awful. <laughs> that was like some Resident Evil style mutation. Ah, you should recognize this element, yes. warrior. It's your old companion, Pummelweed. He's safely stored in the Whatnot book, so you can move the cursor over his picture to transform. Uh huh. And we can also um, Next, assign him. Assign Pummelweed to one of your morph buttons. If you're already in the form of an elemental warrior, you won't be able to change the morph button that it's assigned. Hmm, makes sense. Well, go on. All right, calm yeah. down. You'll be able to transform into Pummelweed by pressing the morph button that he's assigned to. You can have up to three warriors assigned at any one time. Now, view Pummelweed's information page. Yeah, this is where it gets more the interesting. information page contains a list of a warrior's techniques. Highlight these and read about them in detail. Try highlighting Uprooter. Hmm, okay. Uprooter, you say. Advanced techniques are new or upgraded attacks for your warriors. In order to use them, you'll have to find and collect elemental fruit. We already have some, so feed Pummelweed and learn the Uprooter technique. Well, okay. We can... There we go. Let's feed him. He has gone through a lot of growth recently. He's probably hungry. And every time you upgrade something, they do change and upgrade, which is cool. Elemental warrior, but the others may not be so easy to track down. I suppose it's time for another visit to that overbearing. <laughs> I guess so, Ortho. I guess so. Right, and we've got a little bit of money. Okay. But before we do that, let's go back into this a minute. Yes, blah blah blah. Collecting blah, blah. elemental fruit. Will I know all about the elemental fruit. fruit, for God's sakes. Shredder. Ah, so this is like gonna tell us everything we need to know. Now let's have a look. History. The Queen of the Third Age spent much of her life hunting for the elemental warriors, scouring the wilderness with her most trusted troops. Eventually, she's discovered an elemental sprite deep within a meadow, filled with fruits and berries. With the fabled Whatnot book in her possession, the Queen was able to capture the elemental sprite and restore its true identity. Pummelweed! The elemental warrior whose existence kept the harvest bountiful and kept the fruits of the land to ripen and helped the fruits of the land to ripen with pummelweed at her command the elves would never go hungry again later the queen was able to use the element of power transforming into pummelweed and harnessing 
his powerful techniques to destroy a rebel uprising in the old Sargothan ruins. An uprising that would have threatened the elves' very way of life. Yeah, actually forgotten about these bits of flavor text here. I like that. Um, right, now this is the other thing. As a franchise, there could have been loads of like new creatures that they could have found and... Oh, man. <laughs> and, and of course, we have uh, skins for all of these guys as well. <laughs> I actually forgotten about these. That's cool. I like the Christmassy skin. Um, hmm. <laughs> I do kind of like that. That's quite funny. Looks a little bit like Jack Skellington almost. Right. Pummelweed. Yep, we'll have Pummelweed. Pummelweed. Cool. Now, let's go see Mystic. See what she's got to whinge on about this time. Now we are going to try and get all of the fruits. The like the fruits are pretty much all um, optional. You don't have to get any of them because you don't need to upgrade. You can get through the entire game with their base powers. But at least I think you can. Like most of their base powers, maybe. Yeah, pretty sure you don't have to get all of them because there's an achievement for getting them. All. Um, but we are going to get them all and upgrade all of the creatures to max. Did you slay the beast? I like you. It wasn't pretty, but... But I did what was necessary. Very good. Now, just give me a moment, and I'll locate the next Shadow Troll. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you learned anything new regarding Thena or the others? Unfortunately, no. But the quicker you retake all the elemental sprites from the Shadow Trolls, the sooner you'll command the power you need to save your family. Aye. Don't be such a witch. <laughs> Use the site to find out how they fare. Fine. Let me gaze into the eye and see what I can see. Mm -hmm. Not a lot to go on. It's Halis. He's being taken to a temple hidden in the deep and dark depths of the Forgotten Forest. The lair of an ancient demon so horribly powerful it can suck out a being's very soul. Damn. Now, I assume you'll want to try and see. Well, yes. Reaching the Forgotten Forest will be a dangerous journey, and one that only you can make. But I will take you as far as the Badlands. The Badlands? Then lead the way, noble trainer. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. So, when we come back, guys, it looks like we are going to find... Going to go to the Badlands. Now, the Badlands is a really freaking cool place. And really showed off what the Xbox could do with its whole multi-core processing. Now, you know, the, the multi-core CPU in the Xbox 360 was kind of not that great. Um, but it was nonetheless extremely impressive for the time. So uh, we're going to deal with that next time. Because we are out of time now. But I believe we have accomplished a fair amount in this, uh, this episode. We have got our first elemental beastie. The first of how many we've got here? One, two, three, four, five, ten elemental beasts. Wow, is there ten? I don't think there's that many. Cool. Hmm. So, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.